Mid-sized trucks are super popular right now and making them your own is really important. Whether you use it as a daily driver or you take it off road, there are a ton of choices. We have a really cool one here. Stay right with us. Welcome to Car Coach Reports, I'm Lauren Fix, and today we are reviewing the 2020 Colorado ZR2. This is not just the regular mid-sized truck, this is the one that's designed for off-road. Now there's tons of off-road reviews and a lot of people have taken these off-road, but I had the opportunity to drive it all the way from New York City to Buffalo and got a chance to see what it was like on the road and using it as a daily driver. Because we know off-road, this thing is really capable. Check it out. I was really excited about the fact that this truck looked so good because sometimes you get these trucks and you're like, yeah, they look okay, they look dated. This vehicle doesn't look dated. This vehicle looks capable, it looks powerful, it looks strong. And having to drive it six hours made me think about what would it be like to own this vehicle? I mean, passing power, the ability, how it handles on the road. Hey, I had it over 85 miles an hour. Don't tell anyone. I have a radar detector. but. I was impressed. It had good power. It had really considerably good fuel economy. I mean, it's not going to be an electric vehicle, but it got around 16 miles to the gallon. That's with me driving. I tend to be a bit heavy footed, but having this as a daily driver, there are a lot of things to consider, not just performance and handling and everything that you live with every day. It's got to be something that you can take to the grocery store, take to the airport, take it off road. And that's how I'm looking at this vehicle. So when you look at my assessment, this is not about taking it off road. Yeah, I could do that. Everybody's done that. There's a million reviews out there. I want to talk about using the Colorado ZR2 as your daily driver. There's a big improvement in power on the 2020 Colorado. It's not like it's something major, but I have complained in the past about its lack of power. And Chevrolet has certainly upped their game to compete with the competition. I give it a performance rating of an eight much better GM. Well done. When it comes to handling on the road, especially the rough roads here in New York State, it really makes a difference on the ride of a vehicle. Now you have to remember this vehicle is designed for off-road. It is not designed for on-road. Because it has some serious off-road ability, it is a suspension lifted two inches higher than the standard Colorado, and the front and rear track widths are widened three and a half inches over the standard Colorado, which is going to change its total characteristics for the street. Now it does have front and rear electronic locking differentials and it does have the first off-road multimatic dynamic suspension spool valve and damper technology. Basically, if you want to go off-road, this is one of the top trucks to choose from. If you're looking to take this vehicle off-road, I give it an eight. If you're looking at it for a daily driver, you might be a little frustrated. The turning radius is kind of tight and if you're going to use it as an everyday truck, you have to keep that in mind. But if you want to have fun on the weekends, 
this is one of the vehicles you definitely need to test drive. Although there are a lot of standard safety features in the Colorado, when you look at it compared to its competitors, which would be the Ranger or the Frontier or the Tacoma, there are a lot of safety features that are standard in those vehicles, and some of them are missing in this vehicle. You probably don't want forward collision warning in an off-road vehicle, so you have to kind of keep that in mind as well. There's great airbags in this vehicle, of course, seat belts all the way around, some standard features including tire pressure monitoring, and backup camera. Overall, for safety, I gave it a five because other vehicles in that category, they've just got a little bit more. Visibility is an important factor whether you're on-road or off-road, and as a daily driver, you've got great visibility out the front. The side sills are low enough you can see what's going on, and believe it or not, I was able to parallel park this vehicle in New York City like I had said earlier because the mirrors are easy to adjust. I was actually pretty surprised how easy it was to park. Looking out the back window, the headrests fold flat. Really well done because that is going to be something that would block your vision. So GM did a great job on creating that. Remember, it is a truck, so for visibility, I gave it a six. You can get a real good feeling on seating comfort when you take something on a six or seven hour drive. And the seats are not bad on the driver's side. I have to say they're pretty comfortable because there is lumbar, although it's two-way lumbar, that's important. But on the passenger side, there is no lumbar. So that does take it down a few points. The seat belt height is adjustable as well. And I do give them points for that. So for seating comfort, it earned a seven. As a daily driver, technology is really important. You want to be able to hear the music you want, whether it's news, sports, weather, whatever it is that you listen to. And having that ability to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard is really excellent. However, the navigation system is not part of the system. You have to use your phone, which is fine. But if you're looking at technology compared to what the competition is offering, you know, they have like Sync 3 or Toyota has their system as well. As far as technology is concerned, I gave it a six. For features, those are those creature comforts that we love to have. The heated steering wheel has it, excellent. Heated seats has it. Actually, there's a lot of different stages of heating, whether you want the full seat or just the back. It depends on what you want. So give them a lot of credit for that as well. But overall, having the trailer tow package, the ability to make it two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, this all depends on what you choose to do. The storage in the doors, there's really a lot of neat things in this vehicle. So for features, I gave it an eight. I'm a huge fan of the design of the ZR2. I think this vehicle looks aggressive. It looks capable. It's awesome off-road. And these are the type of things that people want when you're buying a truck. But being able to drive this every day as a daily driver, it's a four-door, it's a short bed. So it gives you the ability to use it as your only vehicle. So that is really awesome. But as far as design in itself and the colors and the trim levels that they're offering are pretty impressive. So for design, I gave it a nine. Because midsize trucks are so popular and people want to have just one vehicle, maybe because of the cost of insurance, but still want to have fun on the weekend. And if you're truly into off-roading and you look at all those great parts you see at SEMA and, and all the things you can find online, there's a lot of great locations. I'm really impressed with what I've been driving. I drove it from New York City. I picked it up at the airport at JFK when I landed. I went to do a Fox and Friends segment. And if you haven't seen that, there's a link for it up here. Quality of build is so important. So you're talking about fit and finish. And the sales of the Colorado have really stepped up their game. But those that want the ZR2 have seen its off-road capabilities, have experienced it, have seen it online. Of course, there's other people that have reviewed it but I really am impressed with what they've built. It took a while to get up to speed. In 2017, eh, I wasn't the biggest fan, but today I have to say the 2020 really has shown me the quality of build that Chevrolet can do in their trucks. And for quality, I gave it a nine. Our test vehicle was the short bed. And this is actually really good because I was able to parallel park it in New York City with not much effort, believe it or not. But driving it down the road, it was easy to control. And overall, when you put every single aspect into this vehicle, including the cost of the vehicle, getting a great looking truck with a lined bed liner, I have to say, I was really impressed with GM had done with this truck. Because initially when it came out, I wasn't a fan. And you can check out the past review that I had done. But now they've made some really impressive changes. And the ZR2 really has stepped up its game. I give it a value score of nine. And why did I give it a value score of nine? Because I think you get a lot for your money.
There are so many new things added to this vehicle, although it's missing in some areas. Overall, it gets a total score of 75, which is pretty damn good. And you can check out all of our reviews here. Of course, we appreciate your subscriptions, your comments. If you love the ZR2, I want to hear from you. If you hate it, I want to hear that too. If you love your vehicle, whatever that might be. Let's hear what you got to say. And if you'd like to modify these vehicles, there are so many aftermarket components you can put on these trucks to make them your own, make them personalized. And that's really what it's all about. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you next time.